Hi everybody, I'm not here today, but I wanted to let you know that I'm gonna walk you through the reading so that we don't miss a day of class. Um, so I'm gonna do some guided reading of the Odyssey up through page 569 from where we left off. We're gonna start with the Lotus Eaters, and then I'm gonna make a separate video to walk you through doing the graphic organizers for Lotus Eaters. And by the next time we have class, you should have the reading done um, after having watched the video, you should have the graphic organizers done, whether you do it in class or for homework, and you should have question of the day done, which will be passed out by the substitute on a piece of paper. Okay, let's do it. Why don't you guys get out your, your copies of the Odyssey, get out your maps, and maybe get out your cheat sheet. That might help you. Here we go. We left off with the Lotus Eaters. And um, I want you to remember that six benches, remember after the battle on uh, Ismeris, six benches were empty on each ship after the last battle. So that's important to remember that Odysseus's crew just kind of keeps dying. All right, here we go, the Lotus Eaters. Now Zeus, the Lord of Cloud, roused in the north, a storm against the ships and driving veils of squall moved down like night on land and sea. So here's another storm that we have to weather. The bows went plunging at the gust, sails cracked and lashed out strips in the big wind. We saw death in that fury, dropped the yards, unshipped the oars, and pulled for the nearest lee, an area sheltered from the wind. So they're trying to stay safe. Then two long days and nights we lay off shore, worn out and sick at heart, tasting our grief, until a third dawn came with ringlets shining. Then we put up our masts, hauled sail, and rested, letting the steersman and the breeze take over. I might have made it safely home that time, but as I came round Malaya, the current took me out to sea, and from the north a fresh gale drove me on past Scythera. Nine days I drifted on the teeming sea before dangerous high winds. Upon the tenth, we came to the coastline of the lotus eaters, who live upon that flower. We landed there to take on water. I'll pick that up on the next slide, but let's look at the map real quick to see where this Malia and Scythera are. So he was up here in Sicones, and he talks about getting blown down here past Cape Malia and Scythera um, to the land of the Lotus Eaters. Do we see that? Whoa, it took 10 days to get him all the way over here. So this is where he is, very far away from his goal of Ithaca. All right, so all the ship's company mustered alongside for the midday meal. Then I sent out two picked men and a runner to learn what race of men that land sustained. They soon they fell in soon enough with lotus eaters, who showed no will to do us harm, only offering the sweet lotus to our friends. But those who ate this honeyed plant, the lotus, never cared to report nor to return. They longed to stay forever, browsing on that native bloom, forgetful of their homeland. I drove them, all three wailing to the ships, tied them down under their rowing benches, and called the rest, All hands aboard! Come, clear the beach, and no one taste the lotus, or you lose your hope of home. Filing into their places by the rowlocks, my oarsmen dipped their long oars in the surf, and we moved out again on our seafaring. So let's look at this part right here that I have underlined. Remember, it is a Greek value to resist temptation, right? And we have these lotus eaters who aren't trying to do any harm to Odysseus or his men, but they're offering a plant. And when people eat that plant, they never care to report nor to return. They become very distracted. They just kind of become forgetful. So I'm asking you, what does this remind you of? What in real life, what real life challenge or obstacle does this remind you of? People who claim to uh, have no ill will towards you, they're not wanted, they don't wanna do harm, but they wanna offer you something that's gonna make you forgetful or distracted. So jot down a little note there what you're thinking about. 
I also want you to notice uh, that Odysseus definitely takes charge of his men and demonstrates his leadership when he starts gathering everyone up and telling them, no, 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 don't do this. Get back on the boat. We got to go. We have a mission to do. Um, so don't get distracted by that lotus. You will lose hope of your home. Okay? And then they're off again. So it was just a quick stop at the Lotus Eaters, and they're back on the boats, back out at sea. All right? Moving on. Whoa. Whoops. Sorry, friends. 